Hey, Kyrie, just wanted to ask, you know, on a mental, maybe spiritual, emotional, even physical front, is, is everything okay with you? What's going on, guys? ダンカマヨシです。というわけで、今回はカイリートークなんやけど、その前に数十秒だけ時間ください。今ね、自分の股関節を治療してくれている生体師さんがおるんやけど、シェレン先生って言って、インスタグラムとか見てもらったらわかると思うんやけど、メタワールドピースとかプロアスリートも治療するぐらい凄腕の先生なんやけど、すごくこう、彼女のインスタグラムでもね、ためになるような健康情報も、たびたびストーリーとかにアップされてるんで、もしね、興味がある方は、自分もすごくお世話になってるんで、彼女のインスタグラムフォローしてみてくださいリンクを貼っておきますはいってわけで本題に入るんやけどカイリー・アービングがやっと帰ってくるね結構長い会見でもう様々なことを話しとったんやけどこれを一つずつ深掘っていこうかとまず第一にカイリーがおらん間に大きなトレードがあったよねなんといってもまずハーデンが入ってきてその代わりにジャレット・アレンやらカリス・レバートとかねたくさんおらんくなったよねまずそのことについてカイリー・アービングは、um, You know, just to have James here,、um, obviously letting go of some of the pieces that have been here in the Nets organization for a while, even before I got here,、um, you know, it was going to be hard regardless. I mean, it's just the nature of the business. We're all brothers still, you know, so we're just moving on into the next phase of just developing as a team and just building some camaraderie, camaraderie and having fun. Like I said, it's just really exciting, you know, just to be able to play with great players that have. You know, just been here in the league for a while, have been through ups and downs, the peaks and valleys. So, you know, James is, is, is aligned with us in terms of just experience and,、um, you know, adding that to our locker room is, is going to be great for us. まあ、まず当たり前やけど、元チームメイトがおらんくなって悲しいことやと。でもまあ、ハーデンについてはね、彼の経験をプラスと捉えとるみたいやね。そしてみんなも一番気になってる。何をしてたのか。ずっとね、彼がこの試合に出ていない間、音信不通やったんやけど、このことについて彼は質問されて、Can you shed some light on what the last couple of weeks have been like for you and the time you needed off?、Um, There's a lot of family and personal stuff going on. So just want to leave it at that. Hey, Kyrie, welcome back. While you were away, were you able to regularly work out? And, and if so, did you have access to a gym or was it home workouts? Just what, what was your conditioning like while you were away? No, it's just at home, man. Just working out. なんかこう明らかに答えたくないというか、ごまかしてるというか、そんな感じやったよね。まあとりあえず大雑把にプライベートと家族のことで何かがあったと、そういうことにしといてくれと。やっぱりあの出回っとった写真とか、そういった詳細については語らんかったね。でもまあ一応トレーニングは家でやっていたと。そして今回もう一つ大きな話題になっとることが、彼がこの NBA の規約を違反してると。このことについても質問されて。Hi, Kyrie. I, I'm wondering if you were aware that you had violated the health and safety protocols and what that process was like for you in coming back and going through that investigation one. And then, secondly, what your communication was like with the team while you were away. Happy to be back. Happy to be around these guys. Addressed the team, addressed everybody that needed to be addressed. Now it's time to move on. I just was circling back on the health and safety front. Happy to be back. Thank you. こう明らかに記者の人が確信をついた質問をしてるんやけど、全然答えてなかったよね。とりあえず戻ってこれでハッピーやと。この規約の違反、おそらくこれは休んでる間にパーティーに出たりして、そういった部分のルール違反やろうね。そこについては答えてなかったと。でもまあ話す人には話したっていうことはまあ謝ったってことなんやろうね。勝手に自分のタイミングでチームを離れてごめんなさいと。この休んでる間もね、球団もなかなか帰りと連絡は取れんと言って、それもニュースになっとったんやけど、この球団について帰りアービングの思いは、It's been great. It's been enough support for me to,、uh, you know, feel like they have my back. And, you know, that's all I can ask for, you know, to support not only me, but my family. You know, I'm a hometown kid. So, you know, things hit a little different when,、um, you know, family or personal stuff going on. And that's up to me to handle that as a, as a man.、Um, but yeah, I just take full accountability for my absence with the guys and, you know, just had a conversation with each one of them and we move on. 今、休んだことに関しては全てカイリーの責任だと。仲間ともその点については話したと。だけど、こんなわがままなカイリーをね、球団はサポートしてくれてて、ネッツは本当にいい球団やね。この彼とケビン・デランとかネッツに入ってきた時も、すごくこう、VIP の対応してくれてるって話題になっとったもんね。でもこれはおそらくカイリーと KD だけやと思うんやけど、おそらくハーデンもそうなるんかな。家族のサポートとかも含めた VIP タイプ。でもそういったことをやりすぎるとね、最近クリッパーズでもカワイとポール・ジョージだけ対応が違うって言って問題になって、ハレルが出て
ていったけど、ネッツもね、そういったところは十分注意してほしいね。そしてカエリーが最近ね、去年あの、膝を喉に寄せられてね、亡くなったジョージさんの家族に家を購入してあげたと。これが結構ニュースになっとって、これについてカエリー・アビングは、Uh, Kyrie,、uh, there was a report、uh, yesterday that、uh, you had purchased a house for George Floyd's family, which would be obviously a magnificent gesture. Can you confirm that and discuss what went into your thinking on that? It was a team effort. You know, just want to keep continue to fulfill our purpose in serving、um, a lot of the underserved communities. Those don't necessarily get. Um, you know, the same attention from just others around. So just trying to do my part. Selfless service, that's all. こういったところは本当俺カイリーの好きなところで、去年ね、あの WNBA の女子のプロバスケね、このリーグでも何人かの選手はコロナの影響で給料を払ってもらえるんで困っとったんやけど、その分のいくらかをカイリーが払ってあげたと。そういうことをしとったり、このコミュニティの方たちに食べ物を寄付しとったり、かなりね、事前活動をやってるっていうニュースは見るんやけど、そういった部分は本当にね、素晴らしいし、見習うべきだと。ただこういった今回のコミュニケーションとかね、もうその辺を改善してくれたらね、バスケも最高にうまいし、もう文句なしになるよねそしてこの帰りが休み始めたタイミングで暴動とかあってそういったことも影響してるんじゃないかと言われとったんやけどこの世間の動きについて帰りは。You know, a lot of stuff is obviously happened in the world the last couple of years.、Uh, has anything that's gone on any,、uh, made you change your commitment to basketball at all? Minimize the importance of it? It's just a separation between what's going on here,、um, you know, when I'm playing professionally and what's going on. Out in the world. And if you don't create that distinction, then it's easy to feel the weight of the world、um, while you're going out there and playing. So, you know, I would be lying sitting here and saying, I don't feel what's going on in the world, and nor am I paying attention to it.、Um, you know, I just have a huge responsibility, I feel, to continue to serve my community and the underserved. And, you know, when I'm out here playing, it's continuing to leave knowledge with these guys and, and commit to something, like I always say, bigger than ourselves. You know, this, this, This team environment here,、um, or just in basketball in general, it takes sacrifice and compromise. You know, and we got to come to an agreement and just stand balanced throughout this long journey. So that's all, that's all I'm trying to do. こうやっぱり帰りとしてはバスケばっかりやっとったらそこばっかりに目が行きすぎて他の自分がやるべき事前活動とかできないからそういったことも忘れてはいけないように意識をしてるとそして今回こう NBA ファンはもちろんネッツファンは特にね帰りに対していろいろ思いはあると思うんやけどネッツファンに対しても帰りを発言してて For the, the net fan out there who you know was living and dying with you guys and wasn't sure why you were not Playing and was frustrated by that. You know, would you have any explanation to that? Those fans, that fan? Well, the beautiful thing about that is that I started off as a fanatic and I started off as a fan. I've been invested in this organization since I was a kid, you know, and also now that I'm in this role as a player, there is quite a difference. And, you know, the fans out there want to apologize to them as well. You know, my commitment has always been to bring in something special to Brooklyn. You know, it wasn't just a championship, it was unity, it was equality, it was just bigger things than just the game itself. You know, it took quite a while and quite a few、um, valleys to get back home initially. You know,、um, so for, for me, I'm just taking every day, you know, just being grateful, you know,、um, but for the casual or the fanatic, you know, it, it's, it's part of our culture. And you know, I'm back, I'm happy to be back, and we got some great pieces. and We just move on, and I let my actions and my game speak for itself, like I planned on doing. You know, just needed a pause. 今回は休みが必要だったと、やっぱりこうメンタル的にもいろんな意味で休みが必要だったんやろうね。なんかちゃんとそういったことを球団と話し合って、もう正式に休みを取ればよかったんやろうけど、それをなんか無断で取ったみたいな形になったからね、そこがちょっと問題になっとって、あとはまあコード上のパフォーマンスで答えを見せていくよと、めちゃめちゃかっこいいよね。もうネッツファンにしたらたまらんのやない、こういう言葉って。そしてちゃんとファンに対しても謝りたいって言ってるから、そこはね、ちゃんと筋を通してくれたね。そして最後に彼がこの休養期間に考えていたこと。Thing that is you know, pretty interesting in watching when you take a break from everything, there's just so many assumptions about what's going on. And so many people feel like they know me best. They have no idea who I am, nor what I'm about, nor what I stand for, even 
attempt to take the time or even for me to invite them to take the time. So it's a two way street. Um, and when things become overwhelming in life, you know, you just got to take a step back and realize what's important. And I love to play. It's never been questioned. I've committed myself, you know, when this wasn't even a thing for me. You know, I didn't really care about media, didn't really care about the fandom. All I cared about was just the ethics of the game and being taught the fundamentals. And now that it's become bigger and it's more of a responsibility that I have in this position I'm in, I'm grateful because I'm able to stand on this platform with others alongside of me that have sacrificed and are going through similar things. So I'm not alone in this. And, um, you know, that's just a big thing about also mental health, you know, just coming in and being balanced with yourself first and then being able to perform. Um, so, you know, with everything going on in the world, politically, um, socially, it, it, like I said, it's hard to ignore. Um, I want to make changes daily. You know, there are so many oppressed communities, so many things going on that are bigger than just a ball going in the rim. Um, so for me, I, I just, like I said, it's just the balance of it. Um, of knowing I can delegate my responsibilities uh, off the court to people that I'm surrounded around that are for the fight and are fighting behind the scenes and in front in the, in the lines. And, you know, like I said, I'm not the only one that's fighting. So I'm grateful to unify with others. And uh, that's all I've tried to do. And on the court, the same way, just play with a smile, leave something that I've uh, felt very dear to my heart with this game. And then You know, whatever my legacy is after that as a person, that, that's all I really care about. まあ、カイリーがいつもね、インスタグラムとかでも言ってるけど、人としての生き方を大事にしたいと。自分を人として見てくれと。だからもちろん人としてバスケだけではなくて、この世間で起きてる問題に対しても取り組んでいこうとしてるし、あとメンタルを整えることもすごく大事なことだと。メンタルを壊したらね、あの、当時のデローザンとかケビン・ラブみたいにね、大変なことになれかねんからね、下手したら鬱になる可能性もあるからね。でもまあ、全体の会見を見て思ったことは、なんかこう、心身疲れてる感じやったね。おそらくね、トレーニングもまともにできてなかったから、その辺とメンタルも含めてまた戻していかないかんと思うんやけどダンクマンよしとしては一刻も早く完全復活した帰りを見れるように願っておりますはいというわけで今回は帰りトークやったけど長くなったね今回のこの帰りの件どう思いましたかぜひぜひコメントしてくださいそして少しでもいいなと思ったら高評価もお願いしますはいってな感じで今回以上になりますご視聴ありがとうございました